Hey guys, it's Jake. Today I want to take a look at this double hinged gate that I posted on or shared on Facebook the other week. I'm going to start taking some of these videos and pictures and instead of just posting it and uh, typing about it, I'm going to model it up in SketchUp and take a lot closer look so that we can see how the stuff is built and uh, you know, maybe even make some sheets that you can print out at home and build stuff. So let's take a look at this. So you can see this gate swings around 360 degrees. And the way they do that is by having uh, hinges on the end of the gate and also hinges around the post. So this is handy. It's not really useful in that many places, but where it is useful, it's really nice. Um, and it, a lot of times you don't need to swing 360 degrees for it to be useful. You just need to swing more than 270 degrees. So let's hop into SketchUp and see how this is done. Okay, so here we have our gate. So let's hide this top rail so we can uh, adjust our gate. Let's take these first, put them in this group. We're just going to hide this. The reason I want to hide this is so I can center on the top of this post. Now you can see this is a normal gate, normal set of hinges, and then there's a set of hinges around the post. And now you can put a collar on top and bottom, uh, but you only really need one on the bottom because the weight transfer here is from this gate through this collar into this sleeve. And then the weight is going to go across, and then this big sleeve is loose, so the small sleeve needs to be welded to the post to take the weight. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it moves up, because it's just going to fall back down, and it can't go very far anyway. So, we can see how this works. So the way it's going to work is it's going to rotate around. We'll just take it 90 degrees. And then the gate itself will swing the other 90 degrees. So we need to actually group that together. So here we have it all the way one way. Get 
the dang thing grabbed here. There we go. And all the way the other way. It's a good system. Um, you know, there's not a lot of places where it's really needed, but it doesn't really hurt anything. Now, some of the things you need to make sure of is that you need to make sure your post is perfectly square. And there's a slightly different way to make a gate like this, and I'm going to show that maybe next week. Um, but the basic idea is instead of putting a sleeve here, you basically build a second end to this gate. I think that's a little better way to do it. I've never actually built one like that. I've done one like this before, but I think the double-ended gate would be a, a more versatile way to do it. And you don't have to have your post perfect if you do it that way. So that's that. Um, I don't think this is exactly like in the video. It looks like they have something different here with these tabs. I always use flat iron tabs, but uh, the reason I do is because I like a little bit of space out. Um, you know, enough to put, you know, say an inch, inch and a half out. And that just makes it so you can fold flat against the fence no matter which way you go. Another little thing to think about with these gates is they're not going to latch perfectly um, anywhere. Uh, they they kind of can, but because these hinges... So let's say we take this gate and we want to close it. Oop. You know what? I'm tired of this. Let's draw a line here. Do the center. So if we close this gate like this, let's put another post over here just to show this. So if we've got a gate closed like that, you can chain it shut, but you can't put any kind of uh, rigid gate latch on it because with two hinges on it, it's not going to uh, consistently be in the same place every time. So to show that, like this, and like this. So you see the problem here, now the gate's longer. That's kind of an issue with a double hinged gate. You can still chain it here, of course, but you can't put any kind of slam latch or anything that has to be perfect. So just keep that in mind before you get to decide to make all your gates this way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna put this on some paper so you can uh, have something you can print out, make these parts yourself if you want. Um, I'm also gonna load this uh, model up onto the 3D Warehouse, and I'll post the link to that. So, take care. If you like this kind of deal, let me know. I'll make more.